Rescue Help. A new week reveals several plot details and cast. MCU She-Hulk series is among the most anticipated projects of 2022. In fact, it might turn out to be the first MCU project of the next year, as it could debut sometime during the first quarter. So far, we know that Tatiana Maslany is set to play Jennifer Walters. She will turn into the She-Hulk sometime during the project. Mark Ruffalo will reprise his role as Smart Hulk. With the brains and the brawn together. And now look at me. And Tim Roth is finally making his way back to play Emil Blonsky, aka The Abomination. We should expect a new look for The Abomination this time around. Anyway, we've got an alleged leak coming from an anonymous source on 4chan. It potentially reveals several other details about the She-Hulk series. Now before we go forward, let me tell you that there's a lot of random stuff on 4chan, so you've got to take this new leak with a grain of salt. But it's also worth noting that every now and then, we keep getting legit plot details for upcoming movies. The entire plot leak of Wonder Woman 1984 made its way on 4chan more than a year prior to its release. So we can't really discard this new one about Tatiana Maslany's She-Hulk series. Here's an obligatory spoiler alert, just in case the upcoming information turns out to be true. And yes, don't visit 4chan because it's a dangerous website. Try looking for your leaks and theories on Reddit or some other websites that have reported it. Okay, so let's look into the details. The leaker says that the She-Hulk series will last for 10 episodes, and each of them will be around 30 minutes long. This was also confirmed by Kevin Feige recently. Six hours, six hour episodes, or, um, you know, ten, nine or ten half hours. So it's a good beginning for the leak. And besides, Marvel is establishing a clear pattern with their shows. A six episode long series will have episodes that run for 40 to 50 minutes. And a series that has nine to ten episodes will go for 30 minutes each. So She-Hulk seems to be following the WandaVision pattern. Moving on, the leaker suggests that Marvel is open for She-Hulk to have multiple seasons. It could become MCU's version of Suits, but only funnier and more action-packed. All cases that Jennifer Walter represents will be superhero-based, so we should expect to see some familiar faces to be on trial. This would be a great way to introduce new superheroes and villains, so expect a few new faces as well. And don't be surprised if you see certain MCU characters return out of nowhere, just for one episode and then leave. The leaker states that since the series is titled She-Hulk, Smart Hulk will have a supporting role. We shouldn't expect him to appear for more than four episodes. The Abomination won't be the antagonist. He might play a negative role for a while. We might even get a rematch between him and Smart Hulk, but Titania is said to be the main villain of the show. Steve Stearns will finally return with his gigantic head. He might have turned into the leader over the last 13 years or so. And last but not least, Secretary Ross will play a major role in the series. In fact, we should expect him to turn into the Red Hulk as well. She-Hulk will form a roadmap to the eventual Thunderbolts project in the MCU. Okay, that's all from the leak. We can't say that it is a sure thing, because several aspects of the intel have been heard in the past. So it could just be a summary of all of that. But it's good to know that She-Hulk might last for a couple seasons on Disney+. Plus. What do you think about this leak? Tell us in the comments. And make sure that you like and follow us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube for more exclusive content. That would help us a ton! Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.